Hi, Dave here. This video is all about tunnels, G-scale tunnels. It's entertainment, but we wanted to show you different styles of tunnels, different locations, ideas of how to demonstrate the position of a tunnel, and maybe even more importantly, when not to use a tunnel. Use an alternative or no tunnel. I suggest that during this video, you pause it if you see something, or back it up, when you see something that you might want to incorporate into your backyard railroad or a railroad you might be in the process of designing. Make a folder of notes. It'll come in handy in the future. There are several rules that a modeler should follow when creating a tunnel. Number one, don't create a tunnel that has no purpose. We'll see an example of that in this video. The other rule that's very important is never construct a tunnel more than twice the length of your arm. You want to be able to get into that tunnel to extract an object or a derailment. And you won't be able to unless it's an arm's reach in. We'll have more about this at the end. Before the video starts, however, I have a piece of trivia for you. Everybody loves trivia. What's the difference between scale and gauge? Stay to the end. We'll have the answer at that point. Meanwhile, enjoy the video. See you on the other side. This tunnel is commercially available and comes in three pieces, the main portal and two side pieces keeping the hill from coming down on the tracks. It's made in a single track and two track configuration. This tunnel portal is wood, often made from redwood, is commercially available comes in several widths, and is often used in scenes dating back in the early years of rail in the US. This is an example of using local rocks to form a tunnel. It's best, when using rocks you extend the theme making the tunnel look necessary. A great way to give the illusion of a train temporarily leaving view and returning is the use of foliage. Thick or with view openings offer the viewer more for the eyes to digest. It helps keep the viewer involved as the scene. Note in this example, the train is partially hidden from view because the track is lower than the rock burn. Now, we'll see a track that's lower than the last train track. This track makes the train totally invisible to the viewer.
Next is two examples of tunnels too long. There has to be a way to have access to maintain the track and recover derailed trains. This first tunnel is approximately 10 feet long. We'll see the access in a moment. These landscape boxes come in many shapes and sizes. They are readily available in any big box or landscape store. This tunnel is over 17 feet long. Access is through two 5-foot panels with handles. Both tunnels are constructed of concrete block. Now, an example of a tunnel that perhaps wasn't needed. Maybe some other structure should have been considered. Well, hopefully you saw something that you can use when you start your garden railroad or when you're remodeling your existing garden railroad. Oh, and also please remember to subscribe and please give us a thumbs up, especially if you want to see more videos like this. The thumbs up tells others that they should take a peek at our channel. Now for the trivia question. Gauge is the distance between the rails. In G scale, that's 45 millimeters. Scale is the comparison between the reel and the model. In G, it can be 1 20th, 122.5, it all the way up to 1 32nd. All run on 45 millimeter track. Now you know. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.